hello um, it's miscus maps and uh, this time we are gonna clean up a scanned image um, yeah this is gonna be a short video uh, I'm gonna continue with this piece later but uh, this was a, a scanned map well this is like a half ready line art I'm my intention is to add some details on Photoshop but the rough line art is already done and as you can see probably probably from the from the picture it's uh, made on this uh, uh, just like a regular graph paper notebook um, okay so here we can see if we uh, zoom it a bit we can see that there's all the graph lines are still there mm, and uh, when we zoom really close we can see that all these little lines here they are like uh, they are not even black they are there's like a different tones of gray and uh, even uh, other colors mixed there and uh, what we want to do is uh, mm, yeah we want to we want to do this uh, like uh, all black and white and uh, make the grid disappear to make it easier uh, at first we want to get rid of all of this like extra stuff here like uh, the um, I don't recall what's this called like a uh, this binding here and uh, all the excess stuff on the sides so first we are gonna select just a lasso tool but uh, I prefer polygonal lasso myself because it's much easier to control and one thing that I usually do first is uh, I take the lock off just by clicking it here uh, these instructions here they are for Photoshop and uh, I know that PSD files are also uh, editable on GIMP and Krita for example which are both free online um, uh, they probably have like similar functionality but uh, this is how it works on Photoshop so when you scan an image on Photoshop it's uh, by default uh, a background layer with the lock on and when I remove the lock by clicking it then it turns into a regular layer and it renames it from background to layer zero okay and um, at the same time I usually create a empty layer which I put on the background and this is going to be our new background and let's see we don't have like a clean white but let's make it white and bucket and like that now when we remove or hide the scan layer we can see that it's all white background now okay uh, but let's continue with cleaning up the the scan so um, let's uh, select a polygonal lasso and now we are gonna like uh, select around the line art just so that it uh, we get rid of all the the like the target darkest pieces and so on and I usually do so that I'll 
remove the my signature and uh, I'm gonna add it back later okay I'm gonna switch to from mouse to pencil which is much more convenient Alright, so we have this selected here, and now we're gonna select uh, Shift and Control and I, which is gonna invert this selection. And now, when we press Delete, it yeah, it deletes all the rest of the image. So now we have just the line art and uh, just stuff on the background. Control D removes the selection, and uh, let's uh, close up a bit. Usually, I have um, another window, like a duplicate window of the same map open on another screen. I have actually like a, two regular screens and a drawing display, so. On one screen, I have the the like the reference image, which is usually just like a fitted on the screen, so I can always see see how the the whole artwork looks. And then I have the work version here on the drawing display, and then on the third screen, I usually uh, watch something or like um, well just something to do like a for entertainment while doing the drawing stuff okay but uh, yeah let's zoom in so we can see all the detail here um, how the different gray tones are and so on now we can select from the image and adjustments and there's a desaturate uh, you can also select our, from the hotkey shift control and U and this removes all the tones uh, like the all other color tones so it becomes basically black and white it only has those tones left um, next up is that we are gonna uh, remove the grid and that happens so that we select again image and adjustments and levels and here we can see this uh, graph which shows like uh, different tones and uh, how much there are these uh, in the image and we also have these three uh, drop tools uh, are they drop tools? I don't remember exactly well anyways let's go with that what does it say doesn't say anything okay so here we have basically like a, we have the sample for black point mm, neutral gray and white point so what we are gonna do is that when we select the black we can uh, sample a pixel from the from the actual scanned image and now we are gonna tell Photoshop <laughs> it sounds a bit silly but let's do it like this anyway like <laughs> like we are gonna tell Photoshop that this here is all black okay and we can see that there are some like lighter tones so we're gonna tell that okay uh, actually it's that one that's black and now we have um, we have the line art that is actually like a pretty much black. Uh, all the gray tones are removed, so this is what we have now. But next up, like we still have the grid there and uh, different tones of gray, and now we are gonna pick the white point, and we are gonna pick the darkest gray that we find. Okay, 
uh, there's going to be it's a bit like a a necessity no not necessary but like a it's hard to get rid of the bit like unevenness in the line art but now we got rid of the the dark or the gray gray uh, grid but still uh, my notebook had like a that's not the best notebook in the market because it had like one quite dark gray line and it leaves if we zoom out a bit it leaves this line here so well I don't see much other options but to like select those pixels okay did we get them well at least most that, that is one but now okay now the situation is that we have these like uh, gaps in the the line art so we are gonna back up a bit control Z okay it doesn't work here well good to learn that so we're gonna cancel this and do it all over again well it's always good to like redo things so that that's like a all the base of the learning right okay now we remove those all right let's press ok now we got this here so this is pretty easy actually because it's just a straight line and we don't have any complex line art messing around with that so what we are gonna do is that we are gonna take a eraser tool but with um, hardness of 100 so it has like a it doesn't have those um, blur edges and let's say like a 20 30 pixels might be good here and we just gonna use a manual labor and we'll clean up the dark line away from here Okay, sometimes you have to do this kind of this kind of work when you clean up a scanned image. So it's actually good that this came up. So we can also handle these like a bit more tougher situations. And as pressing holding down space uh, brings out the move tool which I use to like a move around the image like this it's very easy okay let's have a look all right looks pretty nice so we have a cleaned up artwork no grid anymore we're gonna add that later with uh, with a much nicer looking one uh, next we are gonna check the image size this is actually a bit more than just cleaning up we are gonna like a prepare prepare the scanned image for for the final like a detail and coloring work Let's check the image size. So we have uh, that's the size of the picture right now, and resolution is 300 dpi, which is uh, enough for printing. Okay, and we are gonna change the canvas size so that this picture actually fits a let's say like a normal letter sized document so eight and a half times 11 inches okay and now we can see that those are the areas that were added to the image 
and uh, now we are gonna expand a bit the white background uh, oh yeah wrong tool that happens sometimes okay and uh, now control T lets us change the size of the image let's make it big enough so we can actually have a, like a good sized map there uh, now that we, that we change the size of the scan it's gonna make it a bit more difficult to fit the grid there but mm. yeah let's go through, through that also so let's select from edit preferences and uh, guides grid and slices and from here we check that we have grid line uh, one every inch and with two subdivisions okay this was drawn on a graph paper that was probably five millimeters per square so and we resized it a bit so uh, hmm. well <coughs> let's use millimeters and uh, just a quick guesstimate mm, yeah well let's say seven millimeters per grid well, yeah and control h brings out all the extras Oh, we did have the grid turned on and now we can actually like uh, take this image and try to fit it better here okay we're not gonna make that fit very well so let's take the second best option and try to fit it in the five millimeter square there okay be a few millimeters or a few notches down there close enough selected here let's press this it says load channel as selection like so and now as the edges are um, if they have this uh, dotted line it means that we have like uh, basically all the white sections selected 
So what we are going to do is Shift, Control, and I, which is uh, going to invert the selection. So now we have the black line selected. Mm. And then uh, we go back to layers and create a new layer. And I usually do this so that uh, now I'll hide the original line art and we have a new layer selected with the selection here going on and I'm gonna select edit and fill and black we are not gonna preserve transparency opacity 100 and mode normal and then we press ok Alright, and what happens now is that it actually like create a, like a, we have now a layer if we take out the background so we don't have any white parts or anything here so we have just the black line art. Well, this is the simplest way to do it but um, I often like to do an extra step which is gonna clean up the lines a bit more and for that we press uh, ctrl z a couple of times so we can get the selection back on and then we go to baths here and we hold down alt key and select this uh, this is like a make a path out of selection kind of thing and when what holding down alt key does is that uh, it uh, opens up this selection panel where we can select the tolerance so if I have understood correctly this basically tells that like uh, how densely this tries to make those different anchor points for the bands. Well, I found that around two is quite good. So let's press OK. And uh, now we have the work path created. But what we are going to do is we are going to just select load path as selection. Right. And uh, we are going to hide the layer that we just created and let's make a new layer. And we'll do again this same thing that we're going to select from edit, the fill, then black fill and 100% opacity. Okay. And let's remove the selection by pressing Ctrl D. And now we will take a closer look. We can see that it's all like very clean lines. This doesn't really fit like uh, all kinds of maps. Uh, some maps actually look better when they are a bit rougher on the edges. But uh, certain type of maps, maps uh, they uh, they turn out better with with this kind of treatment. Um, what we can do, and I actually sometimes do, is that uh, now that, that we have this like a clean line art here, we turn on, turn back on the the layer that we created before, and now we have like a, a bit rougher edges. But when we remove the latest layer, we can see that it actually is a bit more cleaner. There's a clear difference, right? Yeah, so for this kind of like a, a bit fantasy map, this is actually like something that you could use for Underdog or for Forgotten Realms or uh, for Undercity in Ravnica or uh, maybe even Underhive for Dark Heresy or Wrath and Glory. So all of those actually like 
the 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 rougher edges work for those pretty well so let's choose this and uh, next up is that I just select all these and press create a new group name it Lineart and we are all done and ready for next steps okay that's it for now this turned out actually a bit longer than I than I planned originally um, but um, we actually got through all the all my usual tricks when I clean up scanned images and if you find found this video helpful uh, I have a patreon page uh, patreon.com slash miscus maps and uh, please have a look if if you are interested in supporting my work um, but uh, Otherwise, I thank you for watching, I hope this was helpful, and see you next time. Please subscribe on this channel, I intend to publish more of these tutorials all the time, and uh, my map making or map drawing videos, so yeah, see you next time, thank you.